Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys this album in detail and this is up for auction on my Instagram as of when this video goes up and the auction is only going till tomorrow, um, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, which is October 15th. So if you want it, you're going to have to go head over to my Instagram and I'm going to have a link down below in the description box. But I made this beautiful scrapbook album and I am so excited. I absolutely love it so much. It is a little chunky, but not too chunky. Like it still fits within the spine and I think it's so cute. So let me show you guys what the inside looks like. Before I even get to that, let me tell you guys the measurements. So this album measures about seven and a quarter by six and three quarters. Um, and it is a pretty, you know, big album. I mean, I think it is. I think it's a good size at least. There's some four by six photo mats in here and there's tons of spaces for you to put in photos. And then there's some journaling spots. And then if you wanted to do some journaling where the photos are, you could always just do that as well. But this is what it looks like when you open it up and here there's like a magnetic closure here you got this pumpkin and some leaves and it's a very fall themed album and then you open up all these and these are some three by five photos right here so that's two four six eight eight photos right here and you just close that up okay and this just says it's pumpkin spice season so cute and then you open this up and there's two four by six um, photo mats here. So now we're at 10 photos. Then there's this next page here. It says happy autumn with this cute little fox. You got two photo mats here, three by four photo and a four by six photo. So this is 12 photos, 13 photos, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I left these blank in case you want to journal on them. Um, but it is a two by three size photo. What are we at? 16, right? I think so. Then here, there's a pullout tab. And here, I left this blank so you could add photos. You could add two photos. You could add three photos, whatever you want. So there's room for photos here as well. And then here, you could journal on the back. Or here, you could add your photos, whatever you want. But I left that blank so that it's open um, for whatever you guys want it to be. But I'm not going to count that one as a photo mat. Um, but just know that you can put photos there. So here's another photo mat. So now we're at 17 photos. Wait, sorry guys. This was 17. So now we're at 18 photos. Then here you have these three cut aparts. And you have this one that just says falling and fall. It's blank on the back. So you could put a photo here. Or you could journal on it. Here, there's another journaling spot, or you could just put a photo there, more on the back, and the same thing here, and more on the back. So there's that. I'm not going to count that either, because you could just do journaling. So that was 18, 19, 20. This is a 3 by 5 photo, and this is a 4 by 4 photo. And I just put, like, the stamps here so you guys know what size you need. Okay, so I think we're at 20 now. Then there's this page and here there's like this interactive feature and you open this up like this. So there's two three by four photos and a three by five photo. So now we're at 23 photos. Then there's 24 and 25 and these are two three by four photos. Here you put a four by six photo, so 26, 27, 28, and these are three by four photos. Here's a four by four photo mat, that's 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 photos so far. So now this is a four by six photo here, and these are all two by three, or you could journal in these spots instead. So I also left it blank. And then there's another pullout tab here where you could add some photos and do some journaling. And I love it with the gold glitter right here. It's so cute. All right, so now we're at 36 photos. Here's another four by six photo map. I'm not counting these, um, even, even though you can put photos on here. 
but these are cute little photo mats and journaling spots and they just live in the pocket and it says gather here with grateful hearts and it's foiled so that lives here okay so this was 36 then we have 37 38 39 these are two by three photos and this is three by four photo mat then here there's this beautiful pocket right here with like an acetate and then in here you could put some more photo mats so now we're at two more photos here three by four photos this is 40 and 41 and then we have four by four photos so 42 and 43 and those just live inside of this pocket right here so that's 43 photos this says oh so thankful right here then there's two four by six photos right here so I think this is 44 and 45 photos. I might, I may have miscounted guys. Um, I feel like I should just go through the whole thing and just count again at the end. So maybe we'll just do that. We'll just count again at the end. Here's a four by four photo map. Here's a three by four. These are two three by four photos and a four by six photo. Then you here you have another pullout piece. Again, you could add photos. You could do some journaling whatever your heart desires and whatever you know you need this album for then you have this four by six photo mat and then you have three more cut aparts here and this one says thankful for you blank on the back oops this one's upside down um so this one's got some lines for some journaling with a cute little flower and blank on the back and then this one's got a cute little raccoon with some leaves and you can either add um, journaling here or a photo as well and that just lives inside of this cute little pocket right here and then this opens up and you got a three by five photo and a three by four photo and look at all these foxes throughout i love them they're so cute then here you have a three by five photo map and then at the very end in this pocket you have um two four by four photo mats and two four by six photo mats you could do it this way or this way whichever way you want okay so i'm gonna count this again so we have four photos here five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and this is eight more so now we are at 55 so there's 55 photo mats then you have nine of the cut aparts where you could add photos front and back so anywhere from like 55 to now let's pretend you could add a photo to each um photo mat so that is another wait where was i at, at 55 plus another 18 so 65 75 so 73 photos and then you still have these full size ones where you could add maybe like three photos on here if you wanted to squeeze them in you could add one photo um so i would say you know 76 photos you could even push it to um 77 78 79 80 81 82 photos so anywhere from 55 to like 82 photos that you could put in here i just gotta tie that up with that's why the string is hanging over here but this album is so cute, guys. I worked so hard on it, and I hope you guys like it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And even if you're not bidding on it, just thank you guys so much for um, watching my videos and supporting me on my channel and my crafty adventure. I hope you guys like this project share. And if you do want to bid on it, head over onto my Instagram, which I will have a link for that down below in the description box. So thank you guys again so much and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!